Yo, what is going on guys? Pro Spotlight here on Oh my god, I'm super pumped to get this video out. It's Genji plays for 40 minutes. I can't believe I made this video. It took a while to get all these clips. So please, please subscribe and like watch the video, guys. I'm just super hyped to get this video out. It's actually like I just I, I can't have words can't describe this video. Just stay tuned guys. Thank you. Needs an immortality kill to be given to him, and so it is. Now the blade can do more work. Yeah, you might be able to get aggressive and there it is. supercharge your blade and then uh, transcendence as oh, well. Oh. Oh, Dash through. I mean, we kind of saw it coming, Matt. Yeah, it instantly died. That shield, unfortunately, wasn't too bad. But now he's able to go to play. He's got on the couch to build his back as well. One slice will do so much damage and kill Imo Field as well. There's three kills, four agilities, make that a fourth as he resets through OG. Still the fusion pushing forward, he's going to prioritize and have supercharge and he does just that. Blade coming out now, EQO trying to find him though. He's not going to get the Gravitic Blocks, he's not going to get his target, which was happy, but he does find three kills. EQO showing him, showing up. What is that? Ridiculous. The ops, though. Oh my god, that was a big EMP. Alarm, the funny after and Fury get EMP. And the Nano Blade comes in. That's three kills for Rascal. I'd be trying to like level this one out. He's doing a good job of it as well. Choi and Violet end up going down. They'll get you 1v1 on the play on the point. Strike is back. Oh, he's cheating from the shock. The two. Now also New York just has to go super fast here. They need to finish the Doesn't matter, the stun piled into him for the 6k Another. play yet again. Oh. Ready to go, Striker gets hacked, Striker Boom. gone! Nano Blade though in the back, Blast was fine one already, and it's the support, the sleep guard goes wide. Alarm ends up going down as well, but Ivy at least trading one for one. Rascal with a 4k, and now jumps to the back, Ivy, he's to a low. The Graviton Surge on the 2 HP Ivy, finishes him off. Now they're gonna set up with the Nano Blade here, so should be an easy win for them, and Sparkle just uh, ruins the battle. There's nothing you can do about that situation. Being in here, oh, okay, not perfect anymore. Bio nade immediately sauce a bit. And the spark are going for it. They drop the EMP and the nano blade. Architect says we don't need six. One is enough. Or at least I am. The nano, as a result, and goes over to Ash. Because you know you're going to be playing in a little bit more close quarter to mid. scenarios here. Oh my, yeah. he did not oh, no. see that, but... Uh, I, 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 uh, development in science requires a uh, unit to be uh, replicated time after time. Miyaki's blade feels like deja vu when he's fighting for the right now. You have to get positioning first before you use the blade, and Bank of the Titans are going aggressive. KSA with two. Okay, why not? Agility's trying to even it out with his own blade as he moves into the back line. He just wants one more, he will get it. Kaka and Dalton gone down. Roll for the next one. Agilities, that is far too clean for my liking. Oh my goodness. That is so many kills. Remember, attacks alone are good enough. Here we're trapping you. Okay, let's close that nano. 
Bravo is going to come online with me yet again. There you go. Dash straight to the back of the sleep. Misses. Oh, paintbrush, please run. He gets moved away. The anti synergy, but what was that? He deflected something. I'm not entirely sure what it was. Potentially a shot from Only God directly into paintbrush. And Agility finds the kill onto Note as well as Doha. Oh, Brady is so good at this game. Just give him the Genji 24 7. Never nerf him, please. Throws a rock at him. He says, Come on, man. Uh, let's no, be real. No, this is now. This is not bad for the Paris Eternal, though. Oh, it'll be, oh, a halt and the blade combo. I was going to say, this is exactly what I was talking about. The, the fight goes... ...once in back, pulls the high ground out of that line of sight. Martin takes advantage of the fight. Daybag goes with the right click shirt, and now goes out for the blade. Takes down Bernard, takes down Fuse. And with the 4K coming in, now a 5. Architect again. That just looks incredible with again. Yeah, he's going to 6. Light was down, too. That was, uh, that was just a whip. Oh, Nano. Oh, Nano. Play. Straight on top. Bash. Can he get a reset? Yes, he can. Pump. Halo dead. That's a three. That's a 4K. Can he make it five? Yes, he can. Tuba is in the server. Maybe a sixth as well as the Arista is clapping. And that's the important thing, because the shock has been able to stabilize. And now they are going out with a super blade of their own. Oh From my Rascal. goodness! Rascal, you absolute rascalian. The Fusion need to find an opening. Sparkle now moving through, but X is on the flank. The headshot of the Carpe. One of their star players taken out early. And Boombox just left to his own devices in the sidelines. He goes down to Fusion. Only a couple of players left remaining. EQO's got to come up huge right now. Everyone is weak. EQO with the blade pulls it through, builds it up. Will it be enough? One kill, two kill. Are you kidding me? EQO now finds it with the third. And now it is overtime. Exi moving over to the trace and the tries to die. But EQO, EQO, what a player, what a star. Rally, they're gonna, yeah. yep, they're gonna load him up with the armor and now Sentayo in. Here we go, the window's open. This is the best chance for the San Francisco Shock to close this half off and Tayo. That's beautiful. Gangnam Jin and Gargoyle both down. I mean, if you want big value for two kills, you've got it right there. And now the Shock returns and stop playing with their food. You see the BKB's force back in spawn. There's your first pick. Gargoyle's gonna now step out, but Tayo's just gonna control BKB. There's nothing he can do in that 1v1. Gargoyle's also been kept away by Trigo, but that gives an extra kick and more for the San Francisco Shock. And they've got it all figured out now. It's a matter of course, Gargoyle's kinetic grass tries to stay alive just a little bit longer. Not too kind if you're a Sigma. Stitch has that bomb. Uses that coach gun to get away from absolutely nothing. Blade's gonna come in, and that'll be a couple of dashes and a couple of kills for Tuba. Make that four, in fact. Easy again. The blade. There's the EMP right in front of Ark's face, and Sparkle cleans up yet. No nano. Taking a whole bunch of damage. That's to deflect most of that, but one slash three kills. Oh, yes. Out from Blister, he's gonna get stunned up. Immortality field keeps him alive on the flank as Bob goes ahead. Sir. The way people on the point, and some mine highly so far. It's a lot more damage, and a profit just melts everybody with the dragon blade. Insane. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's four kills. Murdering at least takes one with him, but I think that's going to be it. Yep, no way you can recover from that one, unfortunately. Kemp's the Most people off the edge. That hits the maneuver. Not too kind if you're a Sigma. Stitch has that bomb. Uses that coach gun to get away from absolutely nothing. Blade's going to come in, and that'll be a couple of dashes and a couple of kills for Tuba. Make that four, in fact. Already gets rid of the increase, but Tayo's more concerned about the rally on the point. Pound! I can't believe it. 
and I shouldn't be surprised, but here we are. Striker now pops that one, but Smurf goes down to the Dragon Blade early in the fight. No one really gets any value out of that amplification matrix because the dive in the back lines have burned so much attention away from the mayhem. BKB down, Tayo finds it with the flame. Striker needs to recover to stay alive on the point to get value out of this Bastion, but he's struggling. So much mitigation available here to the Florida Mayhem. Yaki gets in, gets himself too. That might be the answer now for the Mayhem. They are haggard. They are beaten and battered and bruised, but they're trying to get across the line. And the payload is oh so close. Now Violet comes back in. Got to go for a resurrect. <laughs> Ready to get the Nano. I mean, EMP Nano Blade, if this is successful, that's the round. Here comes Flutta off the EMP with the Blade. Two already down. Oh. Rally. Let's, they're going to open the Flux. Yeah, that's a long ago as well. That was Ico dies. It's Sparkle. Oh, my word. I mean, we see it a lot, okay. But three kills. Pops out from the right hand side. And it's oh, he wants it, son. He wants how he feels. That, that is a huge punishment there. Yaki spots the Ash outside of the safe radius and punishes him. Yeah, in that. Away. The blade is waiting. Big Goose falls. All of his targets are down. He doesn't even need to use it. His team are cleaning up the targets regardless. And with the rest of the Titans, they're able to really secure some capture point. 33%. Just waiting. Ryusha Hill holding on to the Nana Boost for now, biding his time, and now it's go time! One slash comes out, Jaru falls, he finds a second one! Oh, oh my word! Haxel, an absolute legend! Five kills for him! With the slide is that Dominic Greg, he's actually no goal, he's safe. Oh, Nano Blade lanes up fight for the Spitfires, they're losing control, it's enough Ooh. to take down outside, oh, that was nice! The upwards flick from below, and the Spitfire, that's gonna give him point A. Nice have to move They're in a great spot here in the back. Here's the blade. Blade coming up to the Hawk, only immortality field. Oh my god. He manages the dash through with the sight, gets another two kills. Another kill on Necrom, and I just, you know, this is just, Actually this is looking insane. like a cool Blade off a good super blade. The Blongo. Super blade! Oh my goodness! Doha with three kills, and this is what you need. I spoke it into existence. You need one fell swoop. We're going to be taking down the dynamite just a little bit too much. Really bombs out on the card. We will get finished off by the uh, opposing Genji's here. The card continues to hit forward, but the kills are coming in. Doom is going to be gone, but Hoxall only needs two in one dash. Now with the third is Charles will fall, and Hoxall says no. This is winnable. Put the team on the back, and they just go ahead and close this one out. The card now advancing. Happy dead. Former Slade into the EMP! It's gonna connect us to all of them! Slicing through! Links are with three! Oh my my! Oh, it's in the corner! Oh, he's got a rush as he had shit! Doha comes in with a blade though, finds two instantly with a dash! That's Arcanine God as well, they've got no healing to back them up with now! This EMP is absolutely massive, but they've got nothing to model up with! Now, he's alone. Oh, he's completely alone. The Kevster ends up coming down to Yucky. What a perfect switch from BQB to stop the teleporter strat, to boop everybody away, or just kill the TP in general. Yucky unleashes the blade, finds one, two, and a third kill onto Bird. Five good big flux being invested. So he's a rally. The uprising would have doubled down a little bit more, but Dolph looks for the back line and then thinks twice. He sees Halo surrounded by uh, his namesake. That rally provided the next shield and decides. Uh, Oh, go and he the craft too, man. Look at the kill feed. He's lining up, King. Mira comes in with the nano blade, though, and fights three. Oh, it looks so good for the mayhem, eating the grab, and OG even being picked off first. But the play pigeon. Now agilities. Oh, the blades turn it as well. That is so nasty confirmed. with the blade. Please, can't keep getting away with this. The supercharger wasted. That has been turned around. KSA stuck in a corner. Another beautiful. He's actually moving back now. Yaki makes sure he's checking the angle. There's a the flux high in the sky. Kevs is already dead. Single headshot. Good. There's the dragon blade too. Everybody backing out of the immortality field. Now oh, we'll just go for a quicker reset, guys. No one's finished off. Look, he actually lands, finishes off Bianca. 
Might not matter though, as two kills come through the DPS duo for the Shanghai Dragons, but it's broken down the hands of the NYXL. And the cost up there, Zarya. Blade now gets pulled from Oxal. He goes super aggro, fights his way to finish off stand one, and will be able to do so. Nice little 3k for him. And as the cart will glide into point A. Otto got a primal reach. One out, managed to find four members. He went down the kill coming through, but a massive Bionate connects from Bebe. Goes in the nano boost as well, and Architect goes in. And find one pushing forward to get the blister in the pack, finds Krillin. Hold on to it for a little longer than he would have anticipated. Well, I'm not how it's been happy. Find the kill and get the blister down. And the pitch for two thus far is real. Pops the primal rage to get inside the garage. A ton of damage coming through. The turret, honestly, doing some serious work here in Vince's absence. The grab comes in. That's new to make sure we see the cap. Oh, you see Mecho on low HP, not able to really restore himself. Nano comes out onto KSF. The Nano Blade as well. Not gonna get One. too much, but it's just enough. Ends up oh, two, it is more. Three. Oh yeah. Never underestimate. So much damage with the Dragon Blade. Yes, uh, ready to go. Blade trying to slice through the Outlaws. Immortality Field's there, but now it's gone. And the Outlaws getting him ripped to shreds. As the Valiant now begin their comeback. Remember, they take this round, that's the map. Yeah, uh, well, at least that was the, the Supercharger Blade, which is arguably the individually strongest ultimate combo. Great immortality. Down immortality field buys in a little bit of time, but they finally finished it off, and Eileen managed to find three. Happy Will's Knight drop, and a nice little headshot to the back of the shirt. Pressure on, Doha's blade to answer. The halt to set up, Doha's the blade right to the back. Looking for a little bit more blue box out of the fight. Oh, Carpe with the shutdown oh. again. And with three down for the fuel, this could be all she wrote. Yeah, Ivy, dash, dash, it's over. The fusion sweep. The impression died from Boston. The blade as well in the back. Moonbone's already dead. Oh, I'll take a whole bunch of damage. The reflect kill, though, from Color Hex, killing two. Okay. Only God and Crimson go down. This is very winnable. If you're the uprising right now, Gamsu's going to fall as well. Nova's on the point with an ult button. Beautiful reflect killing. Waiting for the EMP opportunity. Crimson's already down, so it's already a difficult fight, but you gotta drop the EMP. Three down already, and the fuel just take too long to initiate their Jake, and it just bites them. Yeah, and Ivy just going massive here with the dragon. Okay, two important now. When Master used the steel bash to try and get away, okay, uh, BKB's gonna struggle but, there. We got coach couple. How many times in the first two maps did we see Ursa and Gator go after BKB? Uh, 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 I venture to say we, we have not many, maybe two, two or three times. Like they've done such a better job helping with the aggression on this map. And you see, deny a lot yeah, of value. Yeah, of mercy. Going no, straight in anyway. Yep, the tanks I believe got caught there. Beautiful plays by Agilities. That's wonderful. Getting three kills out of that one. And as they put the point back over into their favor, it's all on Raw. But he has been disciplined all despite the primal rage, despite that high. The Valiant running pretty similar comps. That's an early transcend to the world before the range can go to the point. Ursa needs to make it work with the blade, and he's got two so far. Make it three. Finally breaking through the Florida Mayhem now. And that, uh, that's just classy. Nice little sling of the shuriken to secure the killer. Super comes in off the bench. A super sub in every sense of the turn. Oh, and he gets two and what? one. Super's out of control. At every position, this man is laying down the domination. Hang on. Could really do that effectively. I think that's true. Matrix is better these days to just clear out. We're gonna push in or try this to. Until he's with the blade in close quarters! He's slicing and dicing through them. Can't keep happening, can't have the ass. Just completely crush your somber. Or just please get off Sombra. Okay, or you can stop by Jinmu. There's such a DPS difference. Ah, there's the blade. It just gets worse. New York is starting to get crushed. By Almost zero damage as well as the comeback down. Nano Blade in the back. Oh, the immortality field was good, but Mokko pooped out of it. Ivy jumps into the grab, finds another two kills, and now it's Arn's on. Hey, look at Ivy. I'm going to finish the last couple of rounds of this card. Wow, when you really think Blade Gun is the problem. But Jinmu's also kind of a problem. Three in the back of Jinmu. Chengdu revived. Shui with the Blade. 
otherwise. Now this could be a blessing for the Spitfire. The Spitfire win this fight anyways, Wolf. They get the problem for next fight. It's not a big deal. Yeah, you may be exactly right. They're gonna commit the trance. An uncharacteristically early trance here. Yeah, and late comes res here. Jimbo's late comes out. Insane value. To immediately a far more effective Dragon Blade and you know, I hate to bring out the old term here, Wolf, but you look at this right now and choose out of the fight. If it's gonna be a time for Shatter, it has to be soon. The Graviton dropped. Ryu's still waiting, waiting, waiting. Drops the Shatter to a shield, gets nothing! It's absolutely nothing, Wolf! Oh, what a block. Eileen, though! Really trying to bring it back. It's still a rough fight right now for the charge. The Spitfire, they're 98%. They take this fight, it's around, and Shmee continues on the cleanup. The Zarya's out of it. Overtime to Fade away, there it is, there's the blade straight on top of Jexate's head, he kills Rappel, kills Jexate too! Oh, but he's now OT and Outlaw's gonna get granted a free attack regardless if you end up happy or not. Doha finds three people and no even needs to hold one too. The perfect team fight for the fuel is gonna mean they have another round of the chart. Quickly, whenever they win a fight, they win it down. Oh, Blade for Spark in the back, oh he kills Dolce mid ult too! Oh, he's so good! Everybody crashes back down to Earth. A quarter kill! Dive back line. That's the move. Doha managed to get out rather quickly and pull the blade too. Nice little defect. Zen, unfortunately, mate, you don't stand a chance. No transcend. Oh, someone please kill Dalton. His back is very low. But no, it's going to be fine. There's the blade. Perfect slap and dash on Parkar. A reset skill. Shockwave. That's the trouble kill. I mean, anyway, still gonna double down. I'm gonna go on Grinch for this one now. I'm gonna go straight into the Dragon Blade, and it's just as good for him as it was for Haxal. Now the cards on the move, and crucially, they've managed to hold on. Choi now, fighting for his very life here in the back, using the Flux on command. The Eternal, is this really the right way to use the Flux here? The Eternal, still healthy. Benbeso, real danger, still somehow alive. The heals coming out from Fielder, absolutely insane. This like a bit of a divide and conquer strategy going on. You can see Bembe's got the kill onto Alarm there. He do all forced out the blade and he is gonna get two. But next he follows it up onto Carpe. Even trades, nice oh. mechanics. EQO, dash into the melee more than enough. Plus the flash, four, six. And Hanman coming back in the wrecking ball too. This could work, but it could also be kind of awkward. Hainu comes in, channeled on everybody, but the pulse bomb catches Exe. Sparkle, oh. it's all Sparkle in the back. Sparkle cuts some apart. And the Eternal, so close to dethroning the shock. They won. Feels the blade on deck, the blade now out. EQO, oh, entry denied, but still finds oh. damage on the other side and ends up using the wall in his favor. We'll go the backfire there as EQO finds three. Oh, that's so beautiful by EQO. That's exactly what they needed, the supercharged blade. And he's not done just yet, hunting more kills. Logic's in the corner, cut down by the Genji. EQO going off this fight, going to secure Billy a massive time bank advantage here. Two minutes left in the time bank to find. Now just trying to eke out a few. Bring it a little bit, and it seems like they didn't really need it. They're always on the ball. Mark Voigt's now being prevented from using an but Flander isn't. He ball. finds three. For a chance to see, the flank comes out. The lightning goes straight on Yanato, already down, and that increases in the desperation. We saw the Hawkeye trying to connect it, but not good for the NYXL map. Timing's very good for the charge here to clean up. I love it also touching the payload there because it was rocking backwards. Ops, Flux up in the air. Oh, they rocked the wrong tank. I think it looked like uh, the body block there from Sardo to make sure Fury was able to get that one off. Luckily enough. Tuba gets sent down as well by the shock, but it's instantly killed by Tuba. Reset on the reset. Looking as the armor, but unfortunately he was too far forward. He had to contest the point there, so he gets taken out. Punished! A plus two versus a now. Edison with the blade, two kills for him. It's gonna be the capture at the point A. Atlanta Rain, it was looking potentially two tickets on the board already. Strike the back 
Though Spawn and Mage still in their favor. Sparkle finds another. That's his fourth in this fight. Flux coming out, looking for a solo. We'll go ahead and kick Strong up. Flood assassinates him in midair. The rest of the Shanghai Dragon still going to be alive. Just going to be Bob. The only casualty right now for their team. Ford pushes into the cafe, gets for the Chara. Bob comes out from Happy, looking to do some more. The blade drawn from Flood up, manages to find one. He'll get shoot. Now looks for Eileen. Cuts it down to. Five on five being down to Brigida though, tough, especially as FD God uses the rally, the eternal way more healthy. Sparkle oh. going wild in the back. No, just look at that sparkle. Dash, dash, dash. And overtime, that's gonna tick that. But front of the final still the plane. And the tilt still can't do a bit. The plane is used, comes out, swings through them. No immortality field to save you two down. The Toronto Defiance, who agility's leading the charge. They're gonna find so many opportunities, and they're gonna find. Oh, he out. Get out early. Yeah, Edison hunts him down and takes him out. Not enough. Edison moving forward. He wants more. Look at that. The dash. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You know, maybe we'll win. So, agility needs to do the same. Control the high ground. Use your blades. Here it comes. Hot one used, but it matters not because agility is there. So many kills going his way. You love to see it. Heal quite there, 30 health, they're trying to jump onto him, they're trying to bring him down, Chaos internally, Sparkle tries to turn it around and he will get two kills before being put to a short little rest, napping, sleeping on the job, Rolf though, the sleep will eventually go down, now you can see, that is oh. disgusting Sparkle! Oh, that might have been a third round ready to come through, either way the fight starts out. Immortality kills the supercharger are going to be taken away. Onslaught draws on the blade, knowing that they do not have that immortality field. He gets stunned up, forced to go into the deflection, but still manages to find Baby. Now Gushway follows up for the dash through onto Architect. They finally broken through. Bobble drag one back. What is this? What is this positioning? How does he get out of that alive? His team heal for him. Fielder heals him up. But this gives an opportunity for Vancouver to hopefully get anything done. Sparkle. Four kills. Okay. one of their biggest damage dealers. Shockwave has gone down, which means there's no one to put in that consistent damage. And again, another Hulk into the dash combo. Sparkle capitalizing off of it so much. And it's just another point. Getting capped right now. The second tick getting ready to come through. They get the hole together. Mono manages to find one. The dash in. Hawksall gets on top of Godspeed. Manages no to finish him off. And now is looking for Bam. He will have him. This guy is just an absolute monster. Finishes off QRQ. Dragon Blade is committed. Blade, and now he wants to go in the whole combo, but a good night! See you later, Sparkle! I believe that was five kills. On to the point. Fucked out from Hotba. Taco dashes in, takes down Bebe in midair. Fantastically done. Yeah, now gonna be surging up to 60. Just looking for the finishing blow here on the main. Will be for that hack. Jump out with the translocator. Robin stunned up as the dragon blade comes through. Everybody clustered up full. Gives an inflection kill on the battle. Slices his way through both supports. Finishes off of JMAC and Bernard. The self destruct will not be able to find any. Climbs the wall as the card is just a couple meters away from the completion. It will be an OT finish if one at all. Although with a blade, man, to find Ocean. Gets an ass through on the gesture, finishing him off. Profit trying to juke it out here against his counter. <laughs> 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 Very quickly building up to the drag blade. OG is down though, so Kempster, he got equalized, he gotta do it now. The blade is out. What's he gonna do? Finds aim, go. Kempster with three unbelievable clutch. Coming in.
in from the Gladiators, Genji, and that is... Pulse bomb there, could have really hurt Eileen. Now we're getting there, we're down here comes the blade. Alexa, no idea what hit him. Molly, see what I'm going to keep alive against this one. Well, thank you, Jack. Yeah, you don't want to be here right now, my friend. Eileen, thank you. Kepster pulls out the blade, gets one. How much more is it going to be? Two, three, Kepster, the window of opportunity sliced on down. Oh, Kepster, he gets his peanut frag. Oh, that's so valuable. The reset, you don't put... Logics now working off on the flank agility. Still blade in reserve. He's not going to need to use it here just yet, but might as well. It's five seconds left. Put it all on the table. And the Valiant forced... Kepster getting low to Justice. Like far more pressure. How long can OG hold? Not much longer. Tumba able to take him down. In got the balls. Kepster getting some work done in the back. The gladiators to keep it even. Kepster with three. Coming up absolutely massive on the Genji. This is looking like exactly the adaptation they needed. But I love that from the gladiators. Despite they still have Blade. I think they would like to hold Blade to try to snowball this in the second point. But you have to really make sure you win this one first. Sparks has earned himself a blade already in fight two, make that a third, maybe a fourth as well. Oh my word. Yep, and now the Nana Blade straight into him. The bubble blocks the uh, the accretion there, so no stun's gonna come through. Jimmu slashes through a lot of the uh, utility that was used. And he does get a kill to Rio at the tail end of it, okay, so not too bad. Gotta remember the immortality field was forced out from that, and this is the buffed right click that we're talking about. He's tearing through them right now. Jimmu with three kills. We have the recoil there, that's why he was spamming on the side. It was that field already down. I think that flux actually got cancelled. Or oh, maybe not, there it is. There's the blade two up in the sky. Oh, if you take him out just before he lands, it didn't happen, but it don't matter. There's Rappel falling. And so many low health, uh, health members at the back as well. Rawkers ends up falling down, and uh, yep, yeah, he can do whatever he chooses. <laughs> nice to play. Anger is rage out on a turret. It's inanimate, but it might get the job done now to EMP. And now the blade, Jimmu, he tries to get it done. Gets one kill, slash two. There you go, baby, make it a third. And make it one more just for the record. Jim. Or done. Who can hit a, a sleep dart? Who can get hit a stun? Nano, blade now in the back, like Overwatch of old. A perfect blade for Doha. Instantly killing the support. Oh, Logic doesn't stand a chance. The perfect ghost flash as well back into spawn. So, move box a little bit. More difficult to land the on. You can try to hit the ceiling. There's the Nano, there's the blade. Dash straight in. Just he finds two, and everybody falls to the ground right on his lap. There's the fourth as well. Agilities, that's what I want to see. You said it before, Hex. He uh, Genji is a wonder to watch, and you're seeing right here why he's one of the most popular heroes in the game. If you can pull off yeah. stuff like that, I don't entirely know. That's very bad news. As, uh, now your only damage is going to be a Genji, which isn't the most consistent in the world at trying to do damage. Although I say that, look at Doha <laughs> just slow. Oh, that's the ghost dash. Oh my goodness, that's for worried fade away because Kariva just left the monkey and then he got woken up and Kariva oh, dying. Oh, you don't need the nano when you can do stuff like that. Mr. Agilities, one, two, three kills with the blade. Even the transcendence. Kept to looking for that. I feel like he's probably just going to try and make a play of his own volition here and see if there's going to be follow-up. Well, hope there will be. Is there a stun? Ah, uh, no, it's not. I uh, cannot stop Kempster. Finds one and a second there as well. And if Rick can't stop it, then probably no one else will in that kind of scenario. And that's how Genji's get value right now. Even with so many anti-Genji measures available, Kempster ends with what had to be four kills. Time would work with as well. Dragon Blade probably won't be used now, which is so deep. It goes now, just nice. to get that. Tuba catches Kempster early this time. Oh, it looks good. Tuba leads the marching band in. Four kills to Blade there. Nice combo. Aim God gets the nano boost where it needs to be. Four as well, and that could be another shutdown on Hawksalt's blade. We have to see how things are going to transpire. Nano's ready. With the card, 2.7 meters left away. Nano is ready. The multi four will open things up. They throw down on the card. The EMP comes out, manages to find two. Hawksalt with a blade takes down one already. He's looking for more. Pushes forward, finds three. Resheats the blade. The bomb comes through from Happy, but he is back into a corner. The flexion going to be used. Keeping up with an Ana Nano boost on a sound barrier. You don't see that in competitive Overwatch. Well, the fuel final opportunity, they move in, repel immediately, drop Nano on the Dante, Dante just looking for Dante, he follows Decay to the back, the slice, two down, and the fuel finally hit pay dirt on this blade, that's good news, the bad news is, they... it all comes down to this.
Nano blade, tubes in the sky. He gets boomed oh, away, but still has a dash. This might be good. He gets over the field and he gets me on board. And Halo, that whip shot cost them the entirety of this map, I think. Aim God just gonna kill Fusion, so that's gonna be it. The Boston Uprising are out. Washington Justice are gonna deliver the payload. End the city. Some targets and Gleam sees them in the stairwell, goes back outside because he needs to get some healing. Oxal manages to find one as Eileen will fall and the immortality field will be taken down as well. Now that that is gone, Oxal goes in deep, has the blade drawn out, he's looking for some kills, gets done up for the moment, trying desperately to keep him alive. Picks up two before getting taken down, but it doesn't matter, the rest of the team is there for the cleanup, the extended team wipe. During that fight, hey. just getting his hands dirty. Now, XC wants to threaten the tracer, tries to get out, he's able to escape. The immortality field used, but Sparkle is already found too. Uh, and they've got the rest of their ults available to support it. Minefield does, does come in. Nanoblade as well. He gets walled. Still trying the break on through. He gets the barrier. He is going oh. all the way in. Nothing stopping Who Are You in the end. It took just about every support ult in existence. But it works out. Who Are You is able to break on through. Down an incredible play coming out from the fielder. And now Sparkle under heavy pressure. Here's the nano. There's the blade. And it's oh. a closed in corridor. Slices him on up. More for Sparkle. Another blunder like the last time. Axel, flashbang, stays alive. Now the Nana boost, and now the blade. He unleashes it. One kill goes his way. Turns for the second one. He's going to collect it, and now goes straight for the Brigitte. It's a Jinmu play if I've ever seen one. And now it's yeah, And I mean, for now, Sparkle is just enjoying the opportunity. Pulse bomb out early from scores. Yeah, they got the Immortal Field. Oh, but oh, Sparkle! The Dragon Blade over and in. And it was the Pulse Bomb that set it up. It so this is not going to be a Nano Blade. Jin Mu, though, Jin out. He's going for the Farah. The Blade? Yes. He's found the Farah somehow. Excuse me? I'd like to see the replay of that one. He's going for the Mercy next. No one is safe. There's nothing sacred anymore. <laughs> trying to go for the dodging, trying to go for the juking here. Jin Mu? Lee Jae Gong goes down. That's who. Shuffle potentially setting up for something rather big. Nano. EMP not available now because Shuffle actually goes down. And Jelly is still cutting everybody to pieces though. One, two, and three. He's not stepping anywhere near Carpe though this time, but it's going to be enough. Keeping everybody top top. Both are going to be locked in by Bazzi. Trying to get a lock down here over on the side. Chipu goes through, manages to get two kills with an ash reset. Swipes his way to a third on the IDK. Gets a fourth as Bazzi. Sparkle wants a dash for Yeah. Him. Blade. Immortality field used straight away. Pulse bombing had to keep Ooh. his distance. They lost FD, got to it, but Sparkle's still able to find one. Just one. Hardly gets rid of last throw though, and there's the swift strike. The dash. Quite right. Flashback does connect, but no kills. We found the dog. Keep his hands the hammer. Gonna break down these tanks, and Amok will finally fall to it. Jin however, with the dragon blade. Man, just to find Gushway. Dash. Blizzard, and here comes Hoxall's blade. Down and over he goes. Two, three. Hoxall is chopping the valley to pieces. This guy is just a monster on the Genji. I do not want to hear that ultimate sound with Axel's in the server taking a seat. Ooh. I think he's done enough. Credit using that ultimate when the blade comes in. Uh, at least he's going to stay alive for now, trying to win the fight against Hanman, but... Oh, in, slumped, though. But his hoarding took down two. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. It's definitely one way to stay alive here with a minute 17 left. Halo with two in the back, took down both supports on the other side. Oh. But Sparkle so clean on the dashes. Surgical and what's needed. Max was ready and waiting. The blade comes up. The Nana Boost lay it down. He collects one. He collects not quite two, but he finally finds it in the end. And that's good enough for me. Axel's back. Two kills. He's going to open this one up for the Titans. And they are eventually going to be able to capture this first. The ultimates are coming online. Eighting with the Primal Rage. The MP gets stunned out. Chara, I believe that was him that bashed him. And now Jin Mu, he's gonna do it all himself with the Nano Blade. He goes in once, and he might go in twice now. The dash comes through, and he finds the kill. Quick swing of the sword will get the job. So seconds does he really find any kills? It does not pay off. God, he's off the map. Of the map. What happened? Oh my God! I think he used the coach gun improperly. He said he was going sailing up the side of the map. Hawks on the dash is through, managed to find two. The dynamite is there, and that is just gonna be it. They're taking out the zone. Also, the point.